everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a card here using a really fun technique where you add some pigment powders to your black embossing paste. The stencil I'm using is from Donna Downey called Scribble Script and I really like it because the pattern is kind of obscured. I also have a piece of slate cardstock underneath. I'll be using some Viva modeling cream and this is a really nice black and also Perfect Pearls from Ranger and that's just the opal. To get this started, I'll just go ahead and open the jar and using my palette knife, I'll scoop out an amount of paste that I think I'll need for the whole sheet here. And then I'm going to go ahead and get out my Perfect Pearls. And I'll just be sprinkling this on and mixing it in and I'll sprinkle in more as I need. And once I start mixing this up, you can start to see the color change. It kind of radiates that opal look. So as the light hits it, sometimes it looks green, sometimes it looks purple. So you can kind of see how it's changed a little bit already. There's a little bit of clumping in here. I want to go ahead and smooth that out really well. I'll just be using my palette knife to kind of press down into the paste and that kind of smooths out all the little clumps. Now that I had that mixed in really well, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more. And again, I'll just be using my palette knife to go ahead and smooth that out and pulling in that paste more towards the powder so I can mix it a little bit better. At this point I have my powder and paste mixed in really well and you can see the color coming through when it hits the light. So I'll be using this just like I would regular paste. I'll just go ahead and spread it on through the stencil. At this point I'm not trying to smooth it out but I want to make sure that I get it into all the areas that I need to on that cardstock sitting below. To finish up, I used the edge of my palette knife to go ahead and smooth over, and now I can go ahead and peel this off. And I have to say that this paste is absolutely beautiful, but what you really need to do is to wash your stencil right away. I've let my paste dry, and then I've cut the bottom edge with the A2 Curve die from Simon Says Stamp. I've also cut an additional white piece of paper with the same die and it gives it a really nice elegant look on that bottom border. So I'll be putting this onto a top folding fog note card and I've also added some foam squares to the back and I'm going to peel off just a couple so that I can get this started just in case I need to make any adjustments. So the panel will sit flush with the top of the card and then at the bottom you'll see the fog card stuck. I have decided to keep my embellishment simple so I've added three prima flowers and a twine bow and also I've die cut the hello from Simon Says Stamp Hello Die. It's a painted hello so it's a really nice bold white. And to add a little shimmer to my hello I'm using my Wink Estella clear pen and just kind of running over the letters and this will look really nice against the iridescent radiant color from the background. This is definitely one of those cards that looks better in person. When you look at it flat on, the paste is black, but as you turn it towards the light, you can pick up the colors. Here you can actually see the color of the powder and not necessarily the shine of the paste. So it looks a bit blue-green in this light. This technique is perfect for an any occasion card where you want to add just a little bit of color and a little shimmer. So I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial on how to mix some pigment powders with your embossing paste and thanks for joining me.